friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india in this video i want to infuse into your cerebral cortex that if you see some nuclear fragments sitting over the posterior capsule don't try to catch hold of those with the feco needle lift them up with any blunt instrument like a blunt chopper and then use ultrasonic energy and consume them in this case by this time the main incision has been made now i'm trying to make a side port the patient is moving his eye a lot the patient is under topical anesthesia when you see the patient is not able to cooperate take a tooth forceps hold just behind the limbus fix the eyeball and then make the side port and now hold on the other side and incise the capsule and raise the flap now use a uterus forceps go all around uh, and do a continuous curvilinear capsular axis you can use some viscoelastic substance over the corneal epithelium and it improves visibility and now hydro dissection i use a 27 gauge cannula and bss for hydro dissection the nucleus is mobilized and rotated and now some more visco 2% hpmc is injected into the anterior chamber and then the tip of the feco handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber this is oatly cataract 3 feco machine i mean feco 2 mode from the very beginning and vacuum is 450 mm of mercury flow rate is 45 ml per minute and an ultrasonic energy in this case is 60% and bury the tip into the substance of the nucleus hold the nucleus firmly and then chop it hold at another place and chop it one nuclear fragment has become free i have emulsified that nuclear fragment now i tried to emulsify this piece but i could do it partially because the fragment was attached to the other hemineucleus and now here this is also a partial crack so what i am doing is at this moment i must not try to catch hold of these pieces with the feco needle i'll rotate it lift this fragments little up and then use the tip this is the messages in this video lift the pieces and then use your feco needle don't go near the posterior capsule and don't try to catch hold of those if you do that the risk of posterior capsular rent increases so the nucleus has been managed and now this is cortical clean up the cortex is very a little in this case little bit of cortex at 10 o'clock and it is removed in this case i have made only one side port so i'm not using bimanual irrigation aspiration 23 gauze simco cannula has been used and now a foldable intraocular lens is to be implanted and this is what i call hydro polish use irrigating fluid sweep irrigating fluid over the posterior capsule and clean the posterior capsule this loss the lens epithelial cells from the posterior capsule and make it clean now inject viscoelastic substance inflate the capsular bag fill up the anterior chamber 
and now implant the intraocular lens. This is where non-aspheric single piece monofocal intraocular lens and here goes the lens in the capsular bag. The leading haptic has gone into the capsular bag and here the tailing haptic has been pushed into the capsular bag. Yes, now we have to clean the viscoelastic substance very thoroughly. Friends, we have to be very meticulous at every step of surgery. We must have great respect for the person who has put all his faith on us. We must do a very meticulous, very thorough job. We must not do anything that will cause harm to even a single cell. Yes, cortical cleanup has been done. Some more cleanup is to be done by the irrigating probe of bimanual IA. If you clean the cot if you clean the visco very nicely, intraocular pressure will remain normal in the post-operative period. The patient will be very comfortable, the patient will be very happy. You can discharge the patient after four hours after having a look after four hours. I take intraocular pressure by non-contact tonometer in all these cases and have a look after four hours and discharge these patients who are getting surgeries done under topical anesthesia. This is closure of the side port by stromal hydration and this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. I do this religiously. I want to leave pure, clean BSS and nothing else at the conclusion of surgery. Here the surgery is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. You have got a nice message. Don't try to catch hold of nuclear fragments which are sitting over the posterior capsule. Lift them off and then consume them. Thank you very much.